We've seen it all, we've been through it all, and now we're exposing it all. Hi, my name is Morgan, and this is my sister Paige, and welcome to Clashing with the Ketzners. Today's episode, we are going to share an experience that we had together. So my sister is very well aware of the LA nightlife. She's visited me in California before. Yes. You've, got, you've been to the clubs, parties. Yes. Yeah. Celebrities' houses. Now we are going to talk about your first time going on actual promoter trip. Yeah. And then you were basically, this is your first time being on somebody else's watch, watch. And who's paying for everything for you. Yeah. So this trip, I actually was able to bring a few of my other friends. Yeah. One other girl was a model from my agency back home. Mm-hmm. And then one of our other friends that we share mutually. Yeah, came with came us. Came with us. So this is my sister's first trip and my friend's first trip. And essentially what these promoter trips are, which I think I've said it in other episodes, is when they pay for your flight, your food, your stay, everything you do. But you're on their watch. You attend to stuff they do and everything they do. Yep. Um, and, my, you know, my friend from Minnesota, mm-hmm. you know, when she kind of heard about this nightlife and stuff, I mean, she goes to me, who is sucking whose dick to do this? And I was like, nobody. I mean, I'm like, I have never hooked up with anybody on one of these trips. I have never, you know, gave any sexual flavors to even go on a trip. Yeah. And that's just, this nightlife is just kind of insane. There are girls who definitely do stuff on these trips. And we'll get into that in another episode. Uh, kind of talking about model life and how they go about their daily routine and pay for their rent. Mm -hmm. Um, but so we're, you know, on this trip now Yep. I'm bringing a couple of my friends and we go to Las Vegas. Yeah. You know, they're Paige's first time on a promoter trip in Vegas. Yep. So, you know, my, we all get our flights booked to Las Vegas. We're all so excited, like taking pictures on the airplane. Like, I mean, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Have, I don't know if I've even been on a trip before that. I'm pretty sure you have. Hmm. But it's still new to me at that time because yeah. I think I was only I was only twenty one. Yeah. Wow. I was twenty one back then. Wow, that's crazy. Um, so you know, I bring my friends from Minnesota and my sister. We all share a hotel room yeah. at the Mirage because that's where they put us at. Um, we went to you know we did dinners at Lavo Marquis, the Day Club. You know whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, first night. I think me and you actually probably got in a fight on that trip. Oh, we did. We <laughs> called mom at like four o'clock in the morning. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, me and my sister, we we fight a lot. Well, I think you just got mad. I don't think I was picking a fight. I don't know. I just remember we're all you got mad because like essentially we're going to dinner. Oh, and you were gonna sit by me, and you just left and sat by random. Yeah, people. but like these girls were like piranhas when it came to chairs at the dinner table, like. Yeah. They just like wet and sat and we, and I was like, oh my God, where are we going to sit? Me and my one friend from Minnesota, we sat next to each other and then Morgan and the other model sat next to each other. And I was kind of upset because, I mean, this to me, this was my first trip bringing yeah. my sister with me and my friends. And mm-hmm. I thought we were all going to hang out together, sit yeah. together. And as soon as they like kind of like separated, I was like, WTF, like, yeah. I brought you on a trip, and now you literally are ignoring me. But part of it, I think, was because on the party bus when we were coming over here, there was, like, like 20 girls, and yeah. we didn't get off at the same time. Yeah. So I, like, wanted to sit by, like, at least someone. And my other one friend, the mutual friend we share, I mean, she's a little bit more wild. Wild. Like, she's very outgoing. Yeah. She is the life of the party. Yeah. She is. She can get along with anybody. Yeah. Well, she loves well, most about people. Her. <laughs> yeah. Most people. But... Generally, she's, you know, a really, she has a really good, fun personality. Yeah. So, got in a fight the first night already. Pretty sure we got in a fight later, because I remember that one time when you left the club early. I, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, because remember my friend said that she had to kiss a guy to get an Uber, to get a taxi ride home. Yeah, no, she, she left her. We yeah. left early. She got by herself later. Oh. You weren't <laughs> mad at me. She okay. wanted to stay out. Okay, yeah, so the story behind that is, you know, me and my sister are kind of on the same page. You know, we left early, and our friend... One friend. She should say, Saturday, we went to the day club. Yeah, but that was so fun. And we saw a celebrity there. He was at our table. 
At our cabana, actually. At our cabana. Should we drop his name? Should we drop his name, you guys? Should we drop his name? We'll start off. He's a singer. Like, probably the most famous we, singer ever. I know. And we watched him shotgun a beer. That was... I think I have that on video. He's, like, the biggest celebrity. And his name is... Justin Bieber. Yeah, we went to Vegas. I said hi to him. Yeah, we partied with Jay Biebs. He's at our table at Marquee Day Club. He's dancing. I know. Well, and they played his song. So the song they played was Where Are You Now? And Justin did a little show for everybody. Yep. He had some sick-ass dance moves. Yep. And I remember we were in, like, the little We were pool. in the tub. <laughs> we were in the pool cabana. Like, the little hot tub pool, whatever you want to call it. But he was literally, like, right on the outside of the cabana. Like I was literally in the hot tub. I was like, I could just grab his leg and I could pull him into the hot tub. <laughs> of course. That is a weird thought, Paige. I, of course I didn't do that though. No, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I just want to grab his leg. Yeah, and get Just because it was right there. <laughs> banned from the Lucky Day Club. Yeah, I didn't do it though. It was yeah. just the impulse. He actually was at our table, I think, again that night. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so he was actually at our table, like our legit table. He was he talking was actually, to us. Yeah, kind of quiet though. Like, he was. I was... Kind of surprised. Like, he wasn't what I expected him to be I like. Think, like. I think he just wanted to lay back and have a good time. Mm -hmm. But, of course, all the models there were taking pictures with them. Locking. I should have got one. I don't know what I was thinking. I was too scared. Because yeah. I told my friends before this trip, I was like, okay, if you see a celebrity, like, you, Play can't, cool. you can't go up and be like, oh, my God, can I have your photo? Because, like. You don't do that. You LA. don't do that just because in terms of, like, lifestyle, like. It's normal for us to see celebrities yeah. on the daily. Like I've gone to dinner with celebrities. I, you know, what I mean, it's, go to their it's houses. Normal. Yeah. But when you do that, they don't want to. They don't want to feel like you're a fan girl or a fan. Yeah. Guy. Yeah, I get it. So I was telling my friends, don't do that. Don't, don't, whatever. Just don't, don't embarrass me. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, we party with Justin Bieber that night. Uh, Saturday, things took a little bit of a. We had a little bump in the road. My model friend who came with us. She ended up not making it out on Saturday night, um, which for me, it was like kind of frustrating at the time because yeah. like these are my friends that I'm bringing on these trips and you actually have to get these girls approved to go. Mm -hmm. You can't just say, I'm going to bring her, her, and her. Yeah. Um, luckily at the time, like I was kind of newer to the promoter world. Yeah. So like they're more, they're more lenient when they don't know you when yeah. they're trying to pull you in. Girls in, Yeah. Um, but like I, you know, told my friends, this is not a race. This is a marathon. Like if you're puking, if you're shitting yourself, like you got to go, <laughs> like you got to go. Yeah. I, you have to go. Like you have to show up because a, I want to be invited back. B, I want to be able to bring people back. Mm -hmm. And of course my one friend got hammered and hammered and could not make it out and Obviously, I did not force her to go out. No. Um, very disappointed. Yeah, I think I took like a, a couple hour nap because we were at the day club with Justin Bieber until like six. Mm -hmm. And then I don't think we went to dinner until like nine. Ten probably. Maybe nine or ten. Yeah, so I took like a, a three hour. I didn't. I can't nap between those because if I nap, I'm not going to I needed a nap. Like but. that was a long day. There was a lot of alcohol because there was just a lot of drugs. Yeah, but the like alcohol, like they just kept bringing out bottles on bottles on bottles, and, like top tier shelf. Yeah, and you can order what else you want too. Yeah, order so. anything. They order food, sushi, everything. So I mean, it's, it's a great deal. So I took a nap, and then we woke up and we went to dinner. To dinner. So now at this point, it was just me, you, and, and our mutual friend. our mutual friend. Yeah, because she can she that can girl party. Can drink. Like, she. Like, no tomorrow. So we go to dinner. You know, it's, it's a good night. Promoters were kind of pissed that my one friend didn't show up. And I can you can understand why, because they're paying for it. Yeah. You need to be there. Yep. Um, so that night, we are out partying at the nightclub. Were we at like, Marquee? Like little, yeah, Marquee day, nightclub. Remember, like, those, like, little, like, light-up oh, noodles that we yeah. had that we were playing with? Mm -hmm. Those are fun. Um, that was kind of a long night, um, but me and my sister came to our senses at probably about three. Yeah, we left. Maybe four, but we decided it was time to go home. My one, our mutual friend. She was, did, was ready, to, ready keep to going. Go. She, like, she was actually astonished of, like, Holly's trips were, because, like, coming from an outside lens, she literally thought that 
you people were actually like hooking up and doing sexual favors to be able to just even go on a trip like this or get this treatment. Yeah. Which they do, but not all of them do. Mm-hmm. She stayed and I said, well, you're taking care of yourself. Yep. Uh, she ends up coming back about like you were sleeping, but she came back about 45 minutes after and she goes to me, Morgan, I should have left with you. I was like, why? Well, because like everyone started leaving and I had to kiss a guy to get a ride home. <laughs> I'm like, you kissed a guy to get a ride? <laughs> Girl, crazy. I'm like, you should just call an Uber at that point. I don't think you you could get Ubers at that time on the strip. I thought they were, I'm pretty sure Vegas was like anti-Uber at the time. Oh, they might have been. I think you could only do taxis or cab. Back. Yeah. But yeah, like, it was so cold. This girl, my friend, she had to kiss a guy to get a ride home. Good for her. Um, <laughs> so we have a great weekend, you know, wrap it up. We're all getting along at this point. Time to go home. I was going back to LA to live. Yep. And my sister and my friends and her friend were going back to Minnesota. And I, I was like crying at the airport because like I felt like I was getting left behind. Yeah. Um, but. They, you know, I went home and they ended up seeing a celebrity at the airport that mm-hmm, they talked did. to. He, we're not going to drop his name exactly because I still like kind of know him. Yeah. Um, but he was from the TV show called Awkward. Yeah. Very nice guy. Yep. Yep. So we, we went home and that was their, actually mine too, first time like yeah. on an actual promoter. Yeah. And sure. props for you for being respectful and staying out, even though you felt like shit. Good thing I could drink a lot back in the day. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a wild trip, but that was kind of our first trip together in that nightlife. And you came to a few more after that. Yeah, yeah, no, they're fun. But I think you prefer more to just come to LA when we can pick and choose what, what we want to go to. Do. Yeah. It is it is really hard being on somebody else's watch. I mean, because it's like you know, there's times where like I'm like. I just want to go home. home. I don't want to sit at dinner for three hours. Can I skip dinner and just go to the club? No, yeah. you got to go to every single thing. Mm-hmm. So that's like really hard. Um, and I'll kind of get into it in other podcasts, kind of about the lifestyle and why, like, why I would put myself kind of through these like shitty, not so glamorous, glamorous trips. Yeah. There's reasons for it. Mm-hmm. I, should, I'll, I will continue, you know, on rolling my lifestyle and experiences and kind yeah. of giving you the not so glamorous and. <laughs> side of the life. I yeah. mean, it's my life looks very glamorous, but it is far from glamorous. Yeah. You cannot believe everything you see on Instagram. Yeah. So now you've actually heard about the first time we went on a promoter trip mm-hmm. and we partied with Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. So you're going to have to stay tuned for next week's episode. We've seen it all. We've been through it all. And now we're exposing it all. Thanks for watching. Clashing with the Kessners. See you next week. Cheers.